Hello YouTubers, this is Zerin Longshot and I want to talk Black Ops 3. Uh, we had the beta uh, a while ago actually, so uh, this is a bit of a late video to be fair. So uh, I saw apologies really for waiting so long to bring this video out. I have been extremely busy. Uh, the weekend that the Black Ops 3 beta was out, actually I was at Insomnia uh, Festival 55. Uh, I was a volunteer there, met, met LEA, Diamond Minecart, Syndicate, the side men. It was it was a great weekend uh, there, and so I just didn't have the time to either bring up any videos. I even had to cut down on some of the uh, some of the Black Ops Three gameplay. So finally, I got it out here, and I want to give you my first impressions of the game. So for starters, as you can see here, I'm using the Arc Seven on Combine. Uh, I thought an Arc Seven was really quite good actually for the starting gun. So every card they bring out a decent kind of gun uh, you know, that you can use straight away the arc 7 is that gun that you unlock straight away that is pretty decent um, it kills fairly easily uh, there's a bit too much recoil if I'm being picky uh, it's much better with a red dot sight but um, oh and I want to mention about the punching uh, or stabbing you know whatever you want to call it basically <laughs> They've made it a two hit kill now, but the first hit will disorientate the player. Uh, I found that a few times, especially in the first few games. I was hitting, I was punching a lot because I'm so used to doing Advanced Warfare, Ghost, and the previous cards, just a one knife kill. So, I'm a, it's a, you know, you have to adapt to the fact that you've got to, you know, hit them twice. The best way, I, best way I find it is if you either shoot them with a bullet, then punch them. Just one bullet will actually kill them, I have found. Either, w either that or the other way around though it's generally easier if you manage to get a bullet off before you punch I find so here we are and this is the one of the first uses in well the first use in this particular game that I used the bow and arrow from the sparrow specialist now the specialist is something I want to talk about which is really really cool I think because I like the fact that they brought in so many different ways to make your character so unique so you could be using it completely different class and the fact that you can be using a completely different specialist no one will be using the same sort of setup I find so that, uh, that, was, that was a big mistake from me actually so I didn't know where I was standing so apologies for that but yes specialist um, I like the fact that you've got a support sort of specialist on each on, on all of them so you've got glitch you've got uh, vision pulse and all those other ones where you can basically and save yourself, I would say, and, and even reject that would revive you, won't it? But uh, I also like the fact that they brought weapons into the specialist. So you've got the bow and arrow, you've got the annihilate, you've got the tempest, which I have all of those ones uh, I've, I have found have been the best specialist weapons to use. Um, as I was saying, I was at in Summer 55, so I didn't get to try out all of the all of the specialists. I wasn't in a particularly high level because of this. Um, so I was really quite disappointed that I couldn't play it as much as I could. So back to the video. Um, Combine I thought was quite a good actual map. Uh, it's a small little map. You wanna you wanna have like quite a, a you want an assault rifle I would say either that or a SMG. You generally don't want a sniper and you definitely don't want an LMG. They they won't really work on this. Uh, I've seen people trying to use snipers on this one from this position where I am right now. Um, but I mean, who likes a camper really? So. I tell you what I didn't like though. I didn't like the ability to throw grenades. Not the not the actual ability, just the way it, they threw it. I felt like it was kind of strange and it didn't quite go as far as you thought it would. Um, yeah, I was really quite disappointed with how they throw the grenades. Um, but that's about one of the only points I found in this game. I found the wall jumping re really, really good. Really good. Uh, because you can even shoot while in there and uh, for instance on Hunted which I have a lot of gameplay on is water kills uh, you can get killed in the water and you can just dive under there for as long as you want you run out of breath and you have to come up for air but you can stay in there as long as you want and get kills and you can quite hide in there as well but I mean I'm getting off topic here because I'm on combine now so I'll be on here later and I'll tell you all about that I've got a whole video coming up that will show you what you can do in the water how you can kill, how you can stay out of sight and just make sure that it don't drown so in this game uh, I got a 1.7 KD I think uh, which isn't 
too bad. I mean, I, I'm only really having fun, I find, when I get a 2kd in most matches. So, uh, a 1.7 isn't exactly brilliant for me, but seeing as it's the second game, it's not too bad. Um, but in, in more videos where I'll be showing different kinds of gameplay, of different kinds of uh, game um, game types, as well as game maps, as well as different weapons. Uh, you'll s you'll probably see me more on my element because I'm getting used to the game and I'm getting higher KDs. So this is just one of my first games, and I just wanted to get you know my first impressions of it out there for you guys. But I really would appreciate it if you came back to watch the next videos as well. If you could please just like, subscribe, and just generally watch my videos. That'd be amazing. Cheers, guys.